I'd like you to know that um, the strength of God is revealed in meekness. The strength of God is revealed in meekness. The strength of God is revealed in patience. Now, some of the things we see as weakness is actually strength. And some of the things we see as strength is actually weakness. That's the irony of life. Now, look at this. How many of you have had this experience? Some years ago, you were preaching on a particular thing. You were talking about God. You were so bold. But after some time, after some years, you now discover that those things you were preaching that time was wrong. Have you had that experience before? Now, if you have had that experience before, have you asked yourself, how did God feel about this? Does it mean that when I was saying those things in error and I was so bold and I was talking about God, does it mean God did not hear me? That's the question. You see, the strength of God is in weakness. It's, it's, in, it's, it's in meekness, I mean. God saw how you were talking about him. He knew that what you were saying about him were not correct. But yet, because he is meek, he gave you time. He gave you time to come into the truth so that you can make amendment. That is strength. A weak man will have just said, eh, we have just striked you immediately. Are you getting what I'm saying? So meekness is, is, is strength. When you see a man that is meek, you have seen a man that can demonstrate the strength of God. You have seen a man that has the strength of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you must buy everything because you have the money to do so, you are weak. Self-control is strength. Are you getting what I'm saying? Some of us think we have to be at, at the receiving end. People are always giving you things. You are not giving anything out. It's a sign that you are weak. The one that is at the receiving end is the weakest, is the one that is weak. That's the truth. Some people, they will never say sorry to you. They are always the one receiving all the sorry. Listen to me. The one that is quick to say sorry is stronger than the one that is receiving the sorry. As a matter of fact, the one that can say sorry, even when he is right, is the strongest. But the world would think the one that is saying sorry is the one that is weak. No. You see, strength is revealed in meekness. What is meekness? Meekness is strength under God's control. You can, but you will not. That's weakness. That's meekness. You can, but you will not. That is meekness. Imagine these people teaching revelations about God. And not even all the revelations are correct, yet God is looking at them. Not because he cannot destroy them, but because of his meekness, he's giving them time to come into the truth so that they can make amendment. That is strength. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? So, meekness is not weakness. Meekness is strength. As a matter of fact, the strength of God is revealed in his patience. The strength of God is revealed in his meekness. So if you cannot control yourself, it's a sign that you are weak. There are some people, the moment they are bored the most, then they are looking for somebody to go and sleep with. Because they are weak. Strength is in your ability to control yourself. A man that cannot control himself cannot lead others. The first person to lead is yourself. If you can't lead yourself, you cannot lead others. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are not expected to do everything because you can do it. There are some things that though you can do, you will not do because you have strength. If you do everything because you can, it's a sign that you are weak. That's it. You must be able to refrain yourself from doing some things. You must be able to restrict yourself. Are you there? You must be able to, to, you know, to withstand pressure. That's it. 